cod swallow. What? All one word. See. <laughs> This week's challenge is brought to you by my brain because I know what the fuck happened. And so this is going to be the Gen Z slang challenge. With a mystery. What do you mean a mystery? Don't worry about it. Basically, we each have a couple of Gen Z slang words. We will say the word. And then the other person will try to guess what the word is about. Let's see how close we come. Alright, you got Gen Z. I got... Because there, there wasn't very many of Especially... I had to search my ass off. My end of the alphabet, so I went with... How many did you get? British. British? I <laughs> went with British slang. I know, it was an option. I didn't even think about that. I'll start it off. My first word is chinwag. <laughs> chinwag. It's British. Yeah. And it's, it's part of our show, so... It's part of our show? Go look up Chin Wang. Go over there. Oh, the, you mean the title. Um, Chin Wang. I have no f***ing idea. Uh, I gave you a little bit of a hint. A podcaster? So he just talks? Close. close. It's, a, it's like a, conver- a good conversation between two guys, or, two, or friends. But says, Chin Wang. Usually has uh, gossip. Uh, oh, oh, good chinwag. Yeah, good now we're gonna chin rename wag. our show the Shane Away Chinwag. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you better bring your chinwag, we did. Oh, wait, wait, chinwag. I don't have anything. I'm, a, I'm an American. Okay, my word is Chong. C H O O N G. Chong. Chong. <laughs> is that a verb? Yes. It's a you can use a chong. I thought you said you learned these words. Is it a verb? I learned Adverb? these words. What do you mean I learned these words? The adjective. It's a. It's like in between. In between what? An I guess it'd be, an, it'd be me more of an adjective than an adverb. Chong. Chong. You smoked up. Like getting high? See, that's what I thought. Uh-huh. But no. <laughs> it is someone attractive. This, they used it in a sentence. Man, that girl on a train was a chong. <laughs> <laughs> I never was in my life. <laughs> that does not even sound like it'd be attractive. I think it was Jimmy Chong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man, that girl was a chong. <laughs> Who would say and that? And then I'm like reading these. I'm like, are these real words? Because I've never heard anybody use that. <laughs> I'm guessing that's how you say it. I don't know how to pronounce this in the British. It's either chuffed. Choofed. I had choofed or chuffed. Beatbox is kicking in too much for this. Chuffed? I chuffed. spell it. C-H-U-F-F-E-D. I think of shaving. <laughs> they, they don't have any sentences on here. I'll try to give it to you. He's I like, guess I could put one in. He's like built. Big. He's very... No. No. I was going to give you a sentence. But you, okay, well... Give me a sentence. He was very chuffed about the game today. Like upset? No. F*** <laughs> This is the opposite. Pleased or that does happy not about sound it. like a happy word. <laughs> no, oh, oh man, I was chuffed up. Uh, original, because my mother's mind thought of buff. Yeah. Like, oh, I blanks chuffed. <laughs> He's pretty chuffed over there. Happy word. There's too many tones in that. My next word is gassed. I know what you're thinking. That's not it. I'm tired? Nope. That, that, that's our millennial brain. <laughs> I don't know. That's what it meant. When we when we said it, so then it's probably the opposite by now. This is done switched up. That means you're like you're ready. It's another word for ready. I don't know. Ready, steady, go. I don't know. We are old. It means excited. Oh. 
They use an ascendance. We got tickets to the concert. I'm gassed. No. <laughs> See, I don't know when it switched, but yeah, gassed used to mean you're exhausted. Dying, like, oh. And I'm gassed. Are these real terms? Y'all millennials are Gen Z. Is this real? Like a Gen Z person. Like, verify. My next word is knackered. Knackered? K N A C K E R E D. You lost your pants. <laughs> Your pants got knocked off. No. It blew your pants off. Nope. Um, you put, can you use it in a sentence? Can you try? Use a British accent. Get <laughs> <laughs> going. After that game, I'm really knackered. Oh. Exhausted. Yeah, I was like, So gassed. It would yeah. be an appropriate word for that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that makes no fucking sense. I know. Are we that out of touch? I guess. My next word is munch. M U N C H. Not our munch. I know. <laughs> and it's not the dude from Chuck E. Cheese either. What is that his name? Purple Gorilla I, Man. Was it a name? Oh. Is it being like. Is it like a, a mooch? No. <laughs> Not even close. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not eating. Well. <laughs> is it eating, eating? Like, oh. <laughs> what do you mean by eating, eating? Eating ass? No, you got right on with that one. <laughs> it is a person who performs oral sex on woman and women. The sentence I gave me is, I don't want to date him. He's such a munch. <laughs> Said no woman ever. Yeah, exactly. Who the f*** is this real word? I'd be like, a dude not liking blowjob. Nah, I don't want blowjob. All right, my next word is dishy. Dishy. D-I- C A D I S H Y. Dishy. 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 Do this. Dishy. Do that. Is that the term? What are you just saying that? No. I can't use it in a sentence. So they give it. They give it right away. A girl that's mildly attractive. Yeah. Is that what it is? Yeah. <laughs> no way. <laughs> well, I don't think it's a girl, but it basically means a hot or good looking person. Did she? Well, I said mildly. I thought it was like in the middle. Like, is she hot? Did she? Yeah. Is she? Attractive person. I don't know. I, I can see me in that, though. It says mildly. Didn't it? Does it say? No. I said mildly. Hot or good looking. What's wrong with saying hot? I that bitch hot. You go, that bitch. Man, we used to just make sound effects. That bitch, whoo! <laughs> Man, that bitch, whoo! That bitch, damn! <laughs> uh, a, what do you mean? You'll damn. see. Watch, watch. She's gonna walk by. My last word. Hella Skillra. H-E-L-L-A space S-K-R-I-L-L-A. Skrilla? I say it for a second. Hello, Skrilla? Yeah. Hello, Skrilla? Hello, Skrilla. Uh, that's hello, Skrilla, man. <laughs> you sound like a toddler. <laughs> <laughs> trying to imitate it. I'm trying to imitate it. Guys, hello, Skrilla. Hello, Skrilla. That's an ugly bitch. No. It's a good looking bitch. No. Not no bitch. Dang it. Or any other human race. Busy? Nope. I'm gonna use it in a sentence. Yeah, sure. My parents went out of town and left me hella skillra. <laughs> <laughs> left me hella happy? No. Left me hella skillra. I don't know. Tell me. A large sum of money. How do you, where do you even get that? <laughs> I don't know. Hella skillra. They left me hella skillra, man. <laughs> hella. Never skillra. heard that. Her stacks and all that shit. No fucking. Not that. Gen Z really trying. Is these real words? 
Or we just like read some internet form where it doesn't exist. Cod swallow. What? All one word. C O D S W A L L O P. Cod swallow. Cod swallow. God swallow. That sounds like definitely a British word. You always use too many syllables. Oh, you're just nothing but a cod swallow. That's pretty close. Ignorant person. Mm, close for now. <laughs> no, I, no. Is it an insult? Not towards a person. Not towards a person. A cod swallow. Garage door. I don't know. I have no idea. Bullshit. Nonsense. All I thought was a fish. He said cod swallow. Some dude out there taking Q-tips on a fish. A cod. <laughs> Guy named or Cod Swallow. Oh, that sounds like a bird. <laughs> a Cod Swallow. All right. This, is, bird eating all the cod. this next one is also all one word. That sounds like three. Oh, wow. I don't even know how they pronounce it, but it's... I'm going to say Chocoblock. Block. Chocoblock? Block? C-H-O-C-K-A-B-L-O-K. O-C-K. Chocoblock. Block. Cock Block. <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> Chocoblock. Block. <laughs> Block. Man, that's really chocolate block over there, huh? Messed up. No. It's really awesome. No. <laughs> the dumbest <laughs> I've ever seen. No. <laughs> I have no fucking idea. Busy. Why don't you say busy and avoid all the extra syllables? <laughs> no. <laughs> You're making the long way around. That's chocolate block. Yeah, it just means that uh, places. A place is very busy. Segment for this week. Uh, Gen uh, Z words. Um, we're not Gen Z. I don't even know if these are accurate Gen Z words. If they are, tell us some more Gen Z words. If they're not, tell us what the f- wrong. Because I don't f- know what they are. We got it off the internet. We can't be wrong. Yeah, I don't know too many Gen Z people. Tell us how we how we pronounce them. One Gen Z person I know lives in the woods. 